Guys, what is up? Davis here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your console to the latest dash, which is 17.526. Hey! 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 So the first thing you're going to need is WinRAR. So what WinRAR does is it lets you open this file, which is um, what we need. So to get WinRAR, it's going to be, the link is going to be in the description. You're going to go down here and you're going to choose whatever one supports your operating system right here. Uh, either the 86 or the 64 English or, you know, whatever language you want. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to download Symbol 360 NAND Flasher, which will also be in the link in the description. The third thing you will need is Neighborhood. Now most of you will probably have Neighborhood and most of you will probably have Symbol 360 NAND Flasher already if you purchase the console from me. It'll be in the one setup files on your console. So if you have bought from me and you do have one setup files, then this is already gonna be on your console so you don't need to download it. So the Xbox 360 SDK, this is uh, the install for uh, Xbox 360 Neighborhood. It's really simple. If you've installed a program before, just uh, run it and install it. Next thing, we will open up Neighborhood, and you will see this. If you do not have this, um, let me go ahead and delete that. Our, you gotta have your console connected to the internet, um, you know, the same internet as your PC, so you click Add, Next, and then you can type in JTAG. This works for most consoles, uh, or you could just type in the uh, IP address, which that's in the XEX menu. Click Yes and then you have your console set as the default. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up JTAG, retail hard drive, and I already have one setup files on here. Uh, yeah, one setup files, and then I already have Symbol 360 NAND Flasher on here right there. But if you do not have uh, Symbol 360 NAND Flasher, then you will just wanna go into retail hard drive, and then you wanna open this file up right here. You wanna drag and drop this right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and do that to show you guys. And as you can see, it copied on there. So what we're gonna do now, open that up, symbol 360 NAND flasher, and then we're gonna click default.xex. Press X if you want to dump your NAND with RAR dump v1. So this is basically backing up your NAND. So if you guys bought from somebody and they give you like a NAND dump or something, you really do not need that. You can just simply dump your NAND right now and then update it with that dump, which is what I would recommend to do. So we're gonna click X and it will dump the NAND. Press any button to exit. So now as you can see, we are back at the dashboard now. Now we're back on the PC. Let's go open neighborhood back up. Go back into retail and then symbol 360 NAND flasher. Symbol 360 NAND flasher again. This is gonna be our dump that we just got from the console. So we're gonna drag and drop that over here to the actual desktop. So now guys that you got that dump save to your computer because you want to keep this just in case you know something goes wrong you want to keep that dump never delete this dump uh, from your pc and i would even recommend you to back it up on a flash drive so now what we're going to do is we're going to delete these two files right here make sure that you keep a backup on the pc all the time so now let's go back to retail hard drive which is the root of the hard drive right here but we're going to load dash launch now this is not the current dash launch that we're going to be using this is the old one but this will tell you guys what your rgh method is and you will need to know this to actually update your console so we're going to open up dash launch installer default.xex as you can see at the bottom right of the screen it says glitch 2 which is what you will select in jrunner so whatever you see right there the glitch that is what you will select in jrunner it might say jtag it might say glitch it might say glitch 2 but that is the, what you will select in jrunner later on so you will need to remember that the next thing that we're going to need is our cpu key so since we're already in dash launch we can just click lb system info and then the cpu key is going to be right up top that's going to be our cpu key so you're going to need to write that down if that CPU key is wrong and you flash your NAND, then your console is not going to boot up at all. So you need to make sure that CPU key is 100% correct. 
make sure you put zeros and not O's. You can also use a mod tool that has like a CPU key grabber. And if you click connect, it'll give you your CPU key right here and you can just copy that. And then we can add a text document, type CPU key, put that right there then paste, save it. Now we have our CPU key. Okay guys, so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna download the Ninja files dash launch 3.19 which is the latest dash launch right now and then jrunner 17526 now this stuff is going to be in the description and as you already should have you should already have these up top what we're going to do first is we're going to extract two so it'll create a folder for us okay so now they're all extracted to a folder um you, the reason why you need to do this is because if you were to just take a folder like this uh, a raw folder you can see it says type WinRAR zip archive. So if you were to take that and put it on the Xbox, it wouldn't be able to read it. So that's why it needs to be just a folder. So before we go ahead and flash our NAND, we're gonna need neighborhood. And we're gonna go ahead and update the plugins. Let's open up neighborhood, JTAG, retail hard drive. And now this is it right here. If you guys have, are on a different stealth server, you need to go to their website and you need to download their files, their latest files, and then need to put it on the hard drive I'm gonna be using ninja for this because ninja is the best obviously and we're gonna take ninja plugins use these for built-in hard drive so we're gonna use this this folder and we're gonna take these and we're gonna copy and paste it right here click yes to all or you could just slump, simply drag and drop like that click yes to all now what we are gonna do is we're gonna take the dash launch folder we're gonna take it in the one set of files if you don't have one set of files, then you can download it in the description below. And we're going to delete this dash launch because we don't need it anymore. Now, please note that if you delete it and then you restart your console before putting this next dash launch on, you're not going to be able to connect to the neighborhood until you run it. So let's delete this. And now we're going to drag and drop this right in here to one set of files. And there's dash launch right there. So now if we were to run this, it would load on our console. Okay guys, so now the plugins are updated, dash launch is on there, um, so our hard drive is ready to go. Now what we need to do is we need to actually update our NAND and then flash it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up JRunner, we're going to right click on JRunner and click run as administrator. So now that JRunner is open, we can now load our NAND, which is what we got off the console earlier, this right here, the flash dmp.bin. You can load the source, desktop, or wherever you saved it. And then as you can see it already loaded my cpu key in here do you need to go to the cpu key copy that and then you're gonna need paste it right there now it'll say down here if the cpu key is correct or not you need to make sure that it is correct um, and obviously if it if it's not correct then you won't get all this info info right here with the dvd key and you know all that stuff so as you can see we put the um and dump in here and it automatically selected our console as a trinity is and that's what it is and it selected glitch 2 which is rgh2 uh which that's what it is and and i didn't have to do any of that and that's what i love about jrunner uh, i personally think it's better than xe build because it, it automatically selects everything that you need now in some cases if you have like a fat console sometimes it'll tell you it's a jtag when really it's a rgh2 as i showed you guys in dash launch there is a type and basically that tells you what type of RGH or JTAG you have. It could say JTAG, it could say glitch, it could say glitch 2, whatever that says in dash launch. That is what you're going to be selecting in JRunner. Some consoles have a speed up SMC file that will help your console boot faster. And I put this on like mostly all of my slim consoles. Now. This JRunner does not have the speed up SMC files, so you will need to download them from a different website. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video, but you can learn on uh, like Team Executor's file or, uh, or at Seven Sins. There should be a tutorial on there. And if you don't want to update your NAND, you can simply message me over Kick, and I can update it for ten dollars, and I'll walk you guys through it, and it'll be simple. You won't have to do all of this. So as long as you make sure everything is correct, make sure it glitch, glitch two, uh, you know, depending on your console, mine is a RGH2, as you guys saw in the dash launch, uh, when we were in dash launch, it said it was glitch two, so that's what we will select. We're gonna click create XE build. Okay guys, so everything looks good. 
Um, if you do have an errors, it's gonna say it's gonna tell you what errors it has, and it's gonna um, it's gonna say like failed or something like that. And if you get errors like that, you do not want to flash that NAND to the console because it's gonna be fucked. So just make sure you have all of this info right here, and everything says it's good. Have a nice day. If you get that, if you get this message right here, have a nice day. Then it's good to go. Now this is the file we need: upd flash .bin. To get that, go to show working folder. And then there it is right there. So we can exit out of JRunner. Now we can open up Neighborhood again. The Neighborhood is open, JTAG, Retail Hard Drive. And we're gonna go back to our Simple 360 NAND Flasher that we put on here. This folder and then the Simple 360 NAND Flasher. So this is where we will drag and drop the file. Uh, we just need the UPD flash.bin. We don't need all of these files, just this one. Drag and drop it right in there. Now what we will do is we're going to double click the default.xex which will start the simple 360 NAND flasher. Okay so this is the simple 360 NAND flasher as you guys seen before. We're going to press A to flash our NAND and it says press start to flash it. So we're going to press start now and it'll start writing. Now it says it's going to be shutting down 54321 and the console will shut off. So now our console is turning back on guys and it will not be connected to uh, online right now because we will need to uh, load dash launch the new one we just need to run it and then everything should be good to go after that hey guys so now what we are going to do is we're going to go to games xcx menu and we're going to click rb one setup files dash launch 3.19 installer default.xcx and then right here you guys should get a message that says update and you're going to click yes and click update and then Plugins will be down here. If you need to change them, you can. Your network. Also, guys, what I would recommend you to do right now is to actually go to System Info and uh, to change your fan speed if you if your fan speed is not already changed. And then be sure to save it at the bottom. Then after everything is set the way you want it, you need to go click RB and click X on HDD, which will save the settings to the launch INI. After that, you guys can restart your console. So the console is booting back up. Now we should get a notification from Ninja saying that our time has expired. And there we go. So guys, we are online right now. I do not have a Ninja token, but if you guys were to put a Ninja token on here right now or put a different stealth server on, it would be working right now and we would be online. And obviously there would be another uh, avatar update. So you would just click yes and download the avatar update and then you're good to go so guys that's the end of the video i hope it helped you and if it did please be sure to leave a like leave a comment and be sure to subscribe for more thanks guys you have a great day